Paul Cruz points to the area in his front yard where he made a gruesome discovery Sunday morning. When he came home, I saw the, the, the bone right over here. Cruz says he lets his dog Shiro run around the neighborhood at night, but this time she dragged home what looked to him like part of a human leg bone. When I saw it, I, I knew it wasn't an animal bone, so uh, I called the DPS. He says police came and collected the bone with gloves and a paper bag. Cruz then called his brother, Nicholas Cruz, who told him he'd also spotted bones in the neighborhood. So he, he called up the cops again, the same people that came and retrieved the bones earlier. Turns out the neighborhood boonie dogs had been busy scattering a shin bone, a femur, a backbone, and a rib cage. Meanwhile, neighbors say there's been a bad stench in the area for a while, but no one thought to call the police. For the past few weeks, we've been smelling something really different. It doesn't smell. We know anim dead animal, but it smells worse. On the scene, a multilateral effort of police, FBI, ICE, EMO, the AG's office, and Red Cross. At this time, authorities are not letting us in on exactly what they're finding, but right behind me, police officers are doing a sweep of the area, trying to find more remains and hopefully put together more pieces of this puzzle. Then finally, during a press briefing, authorities confirm the remains are human. FBI Special Agent Joe Author. The bones apparently had been scattered uh, by an animal, and we found bones in several locations around here. Uh, but there is one location where uh, the most of the bones are located right now, and uh, we'll be going over that a little more uh, closely when we have um, evidence response people respond from uh, Guam and Honolulu.